Hey everyone! Are you struggling to keep up with all the information coming your way every day? Emails, messages, articles, meetings, it's a lot to handle. But I've got a solution that's both simple and fun. Visual thinking. This video has two parts. First up, a comic book style story that explains why visual thinking is so effective for achieving clarity, understanding, and faster learning. I hope you'll like it. Then in part two, I'll show you the tools and processes I used to create the story, including the illustrations and presentation. You'll get an insider look at my workflow for this video. So if you're ready to take control of your information overload and have some fun along the way, join me in exploring the world of visual thinking. Meet Joe. He's a busy guy. He works at a fast-paced company where the emails never stop coming. His inbox is always full and the constant flow of instant messages and phone calls keeps him on his toes. On top of that, he has meetings scheduled throughout the day, leaving him with barely any time to catch his breath. His brain is on fire the whole day, trying to keep up with everything. After a long day of work, Joe likes to unwind by learning new skills. He's always curious and eager to broaden his horizons. Sometimes he'll read a book, other times he'll take an online course, listen to podcasts, or read interesting articles. As Joe is bombarded with information from various sources, his brain is working hard to make sense of it all. This process involves converting the sequence of words he is receiving into propositions or mental maps of interconnected concepts. In fact, this is exactly what making sense of something means, creating these maps in our mind and connecting new ideas to existing concepts. Proposition theory explains that every sentence can be broken down into a subject and a predicate, and that the meaning of a sentence comes from the relationship between the subject and the predicate. As Joe's brain receives information, it is constantly creating and connecting these propositions to form a web of knowledge that helps him understand and remember the information. However, this mental process can become overwhelming when dealing with a large amount of information, which is where visual thinking comes in. By creating simple concept maps and drawings, Joe is able to externalize and organize his thoughts, and by doing so, he can develop a deeper understanding of the information he's receiving and make connections more quickly. The next day, Joe meets his friend Sarah at Starbucks while getting his breakfast. They catch up on life and talk about this and that. Sarah asks Joe what he's been up to lately and he tells her about the interesting online course he's been taking. Joe quickly sketches a simple diagram on a napkin to explain a difficult concept from the course. Sarah looks at the diagram and nods in understanding, impressed with Joe's ability to explain complex ideas in a simple way. Joe feels happy and satisfied knowing he not only learned something new, but also had fun doing it. He can't wait to try his new visual thinking skills on his next project at work. He thinks about how much easier it will be to present complex information to his team and how he can use visual aids to help them understand and remember important details. Joe feels a sense of empowerment knowing that he has a powerful tool at his disposal to help him succeed in his personal and professional life. So there you have it. This is why I believe visual thinking is so powerful. If you're looking for a way to supercharge your productivity and unlock your creative potential, embed visual techniques into your thinking process. Sign up now for cohort three of the Visual Thinking Workshop starting this Saturday. 
By the end of the course, you'll be able to build a book on a paid summary of any concept or topic, and you'll have the skills to apply visual thinking to any area of your life. Plus, you'll have the chance to meet and connect with other workshop participants from around the world. Click the link in the video description to learn more and sign up today. With the upcoming Cohort 3, where we will be summarizing the first book in Eliezer Yudkowsky's From AI to Zombie series into a book on a page, I thought it would be a great opportunity to showcase the AI tools I used to create this video. But before we dive into the details, I must confess. While searching for a simple yet effective explanation for the power of visual thinking, I stumbled upon a video by Yuri Molishenko that perfectly encapsulated what I wanted to say. However, I didn't want to just copy his work. Also, my hand-drawn images didn't match his level of quality. So I decided to take a different approach. First, I obtained the script of Yuri's video and asked ChatGPT to punctuate it properly, which resulted in a more readable form. Then I searched for other videos about visual thinking and found that the title What is Visual Thinking? wasn't quite attention grabbing. To help me come up with a better title, I turned to ChatGPT and provided it with some rough ideas and added the post-process subtitles of Yuri's video as a source of inspiration. ChatGPT generated several great titles and I chose one that I thought was the best fit. With the title sorted, I asked ChatGPT to help me outline a comic book video. I provided ChatGPT with a rough set of bullet points to explain what I wanted the comic book to be about. From there, I took the text generated by ChatGPT, made some minor edits, and had a couple of back and forth sessions with ChatGPT to elaborate on certain points until I had my final script. Of course, I also did some fact checking about proposition theory since ChatGPT sometimes tends to fabricate information. With the script finalized, I headed over to Midjourney to generate a character sheet for a male character. Including character sheet in the prompt is a trick to have Midjourney generate a series of images about the same character. I then cut this character sheet into eight pieces and included all eight images in my prompts, placing my character in different scenes that match the storyline developed in the previous step. To remove the image background and crop images, I used Lunapic and Photoroom.com. Afterward, I pasted the final images into Excolidraw I downloaded the brain icon from Flat Icon, but used the Excolidraw color picker to match the brain's colors to the person's face. Lastly, I added a zigzag line with the arrow tool and used the slideshow script to create the animation for the video. In sharing this behind the scenes story, I want to emphasize that AI is becoming ubiquitous in our lives. We can either reject it or learn how to apply it to our work and hobbies. Blindly applying AI can turn us into zombies, but treating it as a tool, like any other tools, can fuel our creativity and improve our efficiency. In conclusion, I hope this video has shown you the power of visual thinking and how AI can assist us in our creative endeavors. Don't miss out on the chance to supercharge your visual thinking by signing up for Cohort 3. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel, share your thoughts in the comments, and hit that like button. See you next time. Thank you.